Gaba is one of Lake Victoria's busiest landing sites. Many people here trade in fish. But that's not the only thing they have in common. Many of them also use mobile money transfer. Dealers waiting for fish from the shores communicate directly with the fishermen in the lake. And by the time the canoes dock, some of the fish has already been bought on the phone. With mobile money, I easily do business. Even when I'm fishing, I can make orders for what I want at the landing site. And I also receive fish orders from buyers who pay on phone. After receiving money, Faizo can pay utilities at home using his mobile money account. Without moving to a tailor, he can pay for water, electricity, and even school fees. Government says more than half the population with mobile phones have a mobile money account. The numbers have significantly grown since financial services on the mobile phone were introduced in Uganda seven years back. MTN is one of the leading telecommunication companies offering financial services on the mobile phone in Uganda. Thousands of transactions take place on its network every day. The company recently partnered with a commercial bank to also allow subscribers to save and borrow money without owning conventional bank accounts. We build up a relationship of trust between the MTN Mobile Money customers and the bank. There's no need for collateral. The, the bank is not going to ask you any collateral. They just look at your profile, the way you have been behaving on our network for the past six months, the way you have been spending money, you have been making calls, you have been using data services, you have been using your MTN Mobile Money account. Based on that behavior, they will say, we trust this customer. With over 23 million mobile phone subscription, Uganda has five telecom companies licensed to offer mobile financial services. According to a recent central bank report, more than 600 million transactions were made across mobile money networks in 2015. While the recent slowing of the economy has negatively affected several sectors, including telecommunications, the number of people with phones is expected to rise, and with it, more demand for mobile financial services. Hilara Esiga, CGTN, Kampala.